Grandma got you a bowl of snow. Come here. Go get it. Look. Go get your snow. Susie loves snow. Look at that. Susie, eat your snow. Want some snow? Some people have never seen snow, Zeus. <laughs> Catching a snowball. Go get it. He got it. <laughs> Come on, Zeus. Get a snowball. Ready? Good boy. Zeus, he got his snowballs. Zeus, he got his snowballs. Maybe little Mousy wants a snowball. My little painted mouse under there. Okay, Zeus, look at my face. <laughs> Where you going, Zeus? <laughs> Okay, say, I love you. I love you. What? What? Okay, Grandma's got to get back to the baby. Shh, I know you're a baby too, but I got another baby to take care of. I got another baby, a real baby, a human baby. I got the human baby. Oh, yeah. Say bye bye. Bye. See you later. Oh. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you later, Zeus. Got to tend to the other baby. That one right, Dio? Hi, everybody. Joe Patty here. And welcome to the art table. And tonight, I'm going to make a painting with my acrylic paints. It's a painting of a beach. I'm using a 4x4 canvas this evening, and here's my colors. Right here, I have the Metallic Sapphire Blue by Folk Art. And then this one, I have my Systems Acrylic Phalo Blue. But I've also mixed in a little bit of Royal Blue Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. And that's in this middle one here. And in this one, I put in Amsterdam's Acrylic Turquoise. And this one has two different paints in it. I've used Apple Barrels, Laguna, and Caribbean. I'm going to mix that up a little bit because I want a little bit of two-tone. It's going to be so pretty once we put it on the canvas. In here, I have a little bit of caramel for my beach color. I wanted a darker beach, but I kind of wanted a pinky gold undertone. So what I did was I used a Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Classic Caramel right here and I put that in there and I mixed it with a little bit of powder of pink gold some pearlex powder it's a pigment powder and I mix that in there I put a small amount of acrylic granule gel in here to give it a little bit of texture and then I got some sand too like with uh, stones in it it'd be kind of cute to put it on the beach and then here is just my classic titanium white Let's get started, everybody. Let's have some fun. Now I'm going to resin this piece, but first I'm going to just give it the background. So I'm going to start with the deepest blue in the back, and I'm just going to sway it around like that, back and forth, back and forth, of the deep blue sea. And don't forget your sides. Next, I'm going to take my blue sapphire and mix that in and kind of go back and forth a little bit so I can get more of a ombre look. Get your sides. Of course, you can always paint your sides a different color, too, you know. You can, like, just paint it black or white. You don't have to have it blend in with, with the beach. Now I'm going to put in the turquoise. And I'm going to blend it up and down again. 
See how the colors blend? It's so pretty, you guys. So pretty, pretty. Now add a little more paint to that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See? Keep it in there. Bring it on down a little bit. Get a little metallic in there. Bring it on down a little bit. You see you have a little contrast. I'm going to get some more of this deep blue here. edges here like that. I don't like it to have just like a, a sharp edge, like a line. So I'm kind of going back and forth and blending it a little bit. Also to give it that little ombre look. Now I'm going to go for my Laguna and my Caribbean. I'm using a crisscross motion. And get my sides up and down. Gotta be careful with this colors too because if you go up and down too much you're gonna get more green. It'll start to be like a a dull looking green. Okay, now I'm going to paint the sandy beach. Maybe I should have done that first. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just see what we get, y'all. crisscrossy get your sides and your bottoms <laughs> your tops and bottoms I'm going back into my Laguna. I'm giving it a little bit more right here. There we go. Now I'm going to let that dry and we're going to do something else to it. Let me cover up this here for now and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back with my teeny tiny little beach painting. And I'll tell you what I did off camera. Well, I let it dry overnight, but before I put it away for the night and when I put my paints away, I decided to give this, the sandy beach area, one more coat of my caramel. Just because I, I was seeing too much white in there, too much of the canvas in the background. Okay, well, let's try to finish this little teeny tiny painting, everybody. What I'm going to do now is put another coat of the sand in here and I want to leave it wet right there close to the beach because I want to do the foam and that's going to be the fun part. And I can add some little my sandy rocks or whatever later if I chose to do so. Because I got these other little thing of sand right here. This little thing of sand I was going to sprinkle on the bottom. I'll tell you what happened. I bought sand, but when I got home, it had teeny tiny little rocks in it. 
it's not really, it's like a rocky beach. So, I don't know everybody. I wanted sand. It would have been cute. Cute, cute, cute. But I uh, didn't get the sand. Okay, now take my other brush. I'm going to put in some blue over there. Keep that really wet. I've never uh, tried this before. Not like without pouring or whatever, but we'll give it a go. Here's what I'm going to do now. We're going to take my white with my little bit of silicone in here. And shake it up. I got my silicone straw. I'm going to pour the white on here. And we're going to have some fun making a foamy beach. I hope it turns out, everybody, because I don't know. I've seen other people do it, and I have so much fun, but it's like usually with the pour or wet on wet or with resin. I'm going to give this a try like this. And uh, I can't remember the name of that. I know it's, uh, let's see, I was watching Miriam from Miriam's Nature do it, and I think her uh, beaches are beautiful. And I watched... Uh, Michael, let Michael and Patrick do their beaches. And oh my gosh, I really like it. So I'm going to um, leave links below of their video. Okay, here we go, everybody. Let's give it a whirl. I think I want to blow it into the beach first a little bit, like into the sandy area or what so called sand. <laughs> okay, wish me luck, everybody. I think I got more white foam than I do beach. Yeah, I better put a little more white in there, huh? All right, that's a big old beach, everybody. Big old beach. And I didn't get that right. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit more. This is terrible. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. Well. It's not too bad, not too, too bad. Wish I had more of the beach, but you know what? I'm going to leave that like that. Let me see if I can add a little more of this uh, blue, some blues in here, whatever. I'm putting a little more metallic blue on the end of my brush mixed with some of that uh, turquoise. Let's see if I can bring it back and forth a little. I notice I'm getting a weird looking like a seafoam green color. That's okay. It's okay, everybody. All right. Well, I'm actually liking it because I have to like it, right? I'm not going to throw it away <laughs> and since it's not for sale I'm just experimenting and playing around we're gonna just have some fun so I'm giving this a second coat up here because I want to tomorrow I'm going to pour a coat of resin over it and I'm gonna use clear resin but what I'm gonna do with the clear resin is bring it down into here and I might even add a little white foam in the resin a little bit of, well, not white foam, a little bit of white in the resin, but we'll see. I'm not as good as those other people with pouring beaches, but I'm trying, and I'm having fun. And uh, I like this kind of stuff, you guys. Okay, well, that's the beach, everybody. Love it or leave it, right? I hope you're getting in the camera here. Uh. Okay, and then uh, maybe I'll just blow that down there. <laughs> All right, well, that doesn't look too bad. 
It's just a bummer that I don't have more beets, you know? I better leave it alone because it's starting to dry a little bit. And also, when you use straws a lot, I just thought I'd thought you'd let you guys know a little secret. If you use a straw a lot, it's not happening here now, but if you do a big painting or big pour and you use your straw and you use it a lot, um, you get condensation in there. You get a little of your backwash, so to speak, in your straw, and it kind of drips down, and it can actually drip water onto your painting. So if you're ever using that, just be careful. I just thought I'd tell you guys about that because it's happened to me one time when I was using my straw, and um, I'm glad I wasn't using resin with it because that wouldn't have been good, would it? <laughs> okay, everybody, let's let this dry overnight, and uh, on to the next step. Give you a little close up of here. I hope you can see that. I still use my phone for filming, so eh. All right, everybody. See you in the morning. All right, you guys. This video is getting really long, and I feel bad, but I'm experimenting with something, so you guys can just fast forward through lots of stuff. I'm just trying to teach myself something, and I hope you learn something too. But what I did af after uh, that last clip, I turned the camera off and put it to bed for the night. While this was sand was still wet, I threw a couple of those little rocky stones on there, which I thought was sand. But I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to cover up a little bit more of the beach with this uh, sandy color here, this caramel, because I just feel like I want more beach. Let that dry. A little sandy beach. Okay, everybody. I'm mixing up my family wood glaze coat. It's a countertop resin that I get. Actually, get it at Walmart. It's a pretty reasonable price. I can also get it at Home Depot. So I'm mixing up some colors. I'm using a Caribbean Blue Mica by Brambleberry. That's this. I'm going to put that in the back here. And before I started this video, I put some sparkles in there, a little glitter. And then I uh, put some more sand on the beach. I had some white glitter right there that I put, but you know what? It looked like snow. <laughs> like, you know what? I just can't seem to get anywhere with this pour. Okay, so I'm using two different colors. I'm using the Caribbean Blue Mica, and I'm also using Primary Elements um, African Jade. Okay, so mixing that up, that's this. And then I have white, my Pinata Ink White, and I put some Resi Blast in there. So I'm gonna see if we can bring some dimension and bring this painting to life, because um, it's just a little experimental pour, I guess. And then I have a little bit of clear over here, just in case and I put it on there. I could put that on there now to kind of blend it in a little bit. Use my heat gun to spread it around, pop some bubbles. I'm gonna add my dark blue here. My hand's in the way, but I'm going to uh, move in a second here. Now for the primary elements. Sticky old resin. That's adding some, quite a nice dimension there to the little ocean beachy pour. I think I'm going to put a little more of the dark blue in here a little bit. A little bit of white out here. A little too much white. <laughs> Hello, everybody. 
I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. I'm messing up everything. Put a little bit of clear resin on here on the end. One more quick blow this way. I had so much white in there. I messed it up when I first started this painting, so. <laughs> Well, I'm going to maybe add some more stones right here real quick because uh, see how that turns out. Since there's all that resin right there. Let's see here. Wish I had the sand. But I want to cover up some of that blue I had going on there and some of that white that got in there. I tell you what, you guys, we'll do anything to save our paintings, won't we? <laughs> I think I've overworked this thing so much. <laughs> All right. This thing is uh, too much. Pretty little gold glitter there, here and there. Good for for some pizzazz. All right, everybody. We'll just let that dry and cure. Let's hope for the best. Okay, everybody. <laughs> here she is. I embellished a little bit more with some gold sparkle glitters and my little teeny tiny sea foam resin turtle. It's just a little painting, everybody. And I had so much fun making it. And I really want to give thanks to a couple people for guiding me and letting me watch their videos on how to paint these little beach pores in paintings because they're so cute so cute you guys would have a lot of fun you need to go to mklgrm fine art and i will put a link below this video to their channel this guy michael that owns this channel he does the coolest stuff he's just you know really fun to listen to and he he keeps you light-hearted and light-spirited while you're watching the video it's kind of fun and then there's Miriam's Nature. And that's Miriam's with a Y, everybody. Miriam is just awesome. You will love her. Love her voice. She guides you through everything. She does so much, you guys. You wouldn't believe the stuff that she creates. You've just got to go check her out. And I'll leave a link below to her channel as well. Then I have one more little shout I'd like to give out to. And that is a new YouTube friend. Her name is Doris. Doris... DF Designs. Go check her out, you guys. She's new to YouTube and new to all of this. Uh, she used to create something else, but I think she's gotten involved in this now. And what she does is uh, she'll go around and watch videos in acrylic, like acrylic paintings and acrylic pourings, and she tries to turn it into uh, resin work. So whatever we, whatever she watches in uh, acrylic painting stuff, she tries to do the exact same thing in resin to see if it would work out. So those are her experiments. So you guys should go watch her because she puts out a video almost every day right now. And it's really kind of fun to watch. You guys will enjoy her. And I'll put a link below for her channel as well. All right, you guys. Grab your paints, resin, and glitters. And don't forget to wear your ruby slippers. You know what that means. Do it your way. Any way you want to. And now for your meditation thought for today. More often than not, we go into conflicts looking to either blame another person or win the argument. Learn to put down your fixed position and create the environment for a calm and productive conversation. Thank you for watching. Arrivederci, everybody. See you again soon back in the studio.